In the previous video we learned how to add new pages. And in this one I'll show you how you can customize pages on your directory website. Let's go to the home page. As you can see it already looks fine. However, several important details are still missing. For example, there is no header image. To add a header image, click on the customize button. Then Go to the header image section and upload an image. Then optionally crop it and click on the publish button. Now the header image is set, but let's also go through all the other sections within the customizer to give this directory website a unique look and feel. In the Site Identity tab, add a custom logo and remove the default WordPress tagline. Also, you can set the copyright notice text here. Then click on the Publish button. In the Colors tab, you can change the main colors to match your brand or company, namely primary, secondary and background colors. But I am ok with the default listing hive colors, so I'll just leave everything as it is. Next, go to the Menus section. Here. You can customize menus within the available website areas. The header and footer areas are available by default. For example, let's add the home, listings and blog pages to the header menu. You can create a new menu or customize the existing one. I'll customize this one. Then, you need to select the pages you want to add as menu items and click on the Publish button. As you can see, the pages are displayed in the header now. You can follow the same steps for the footer menu. For example, let's add the basic links for the privacy policy and terms of use pages that I have added behind the scenes. That's it! These two pages are now displayed in the footer. Let's move to the next section. Here, in the Widgets section, you can add custom widgets to any of the available areas of the seam, like sidebar or footer, but I'll skip this for now since widgets are optional and you should use them only if some extra content like ads is required in these areas. In the Home page Settings section, you can link the front and the block pages, but we have already done this earlier, so let's skip this section and move to the next one. Fonts. Here you can change the heading and text fonts for your website and select any font provided by the Google Fonts service. Finally, there is a CSS section where you can keep custom CSS code snippets to adjust the website styles. For example, let's hide the listing creation date. Here it is and let's hide it with this simple snippet. As you can see, it disappeared. Please note that we have a collection of the PHP and CSS code snippets for Hivepress, and I'll add a link to it in the video description, so feel free to check it out. Ok, now we finished customizing the look and feel of this website, and can move to the next step, to play around with the Hivepress settings. So, see you in a minute!